Hey guys, it's Sparkly Simmer and welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be going over a few of my favorite custom content websites with you guys and I'm also going to be showing you and demonstrating how it is I like to download my custom content and add it onto my game. So I will be showing you guys all of that. I will be walking through the process and all of that good stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So here we have Anubis under the sun or Anubis 360 and he has been making or creating this uh, custom content for The Sims 3 and The Sims 4 for as long as I can remember and I've always been so 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 in love with uh, his content it is amazing and you guys are about to see why so as you can see he has this nice like banner over here uh, but what I really do like about the clothing that he has to offer is that it's so realistic and it actually, it's 3D rather than just looking as though it's been painted right onto your Sims bodies, which is not very nice. <laughs> but I'm sure you guys have seen that bad CC on like several websites or maybe not, I'm not sure, but... If you have, you definitely know what I'm talking about. And now we're going into The Sims 3. But uh, yeah, he just started uploading for The Sims 4 so and creating for The Sims 4. So there isn't much, but on to my second All right, favorite. so here we have The Sims Resource. And I'm sure most of you have heard about this website because it is super, 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 super popular. And it is honestly probably the most go-to or gone-to CC website out there alongside Tumblr, which I will get to in a minute. But... Uh, this has to be one of my absolute, absolute favorite custom content websites for everything. You have custom content and mods for The Sims 1, The Sims 2, The Sims 3, and The Sims 4. So here you have all these kinds of uh, categories. You have show all, featured creations, you have some clothing, shoes, objects, hair, makeup, accessories, skin tones, eye colors, mods, lots, and sims. So you have pretty much all the custom content and mods you could ever possibly imagine which is amazing so I guess I'll go ahead and go over a few of the categories here with you all but uh yeah and one of my absolute gone to or go to hairstyles uh or creators or hair creators whatever you guys want to say is Stealthic is that how you say it? I think that's how you say it uh it's Stealthic and oh my god you guys his creations are like, I don't, I, I, I can't. There are no words because just look at this. It is so freaking beautiful. Like the hair, everything, just everything. It, it I mean, like you could, po it could possibly pass for, God knows. Like, I, it, it looks animated. That is how good everything looks, and the hair is so realistic. It's on your sim's hair like properly it fits your your sim properly and it it doesn't look like it's just floating on it on on your sim's head which is a good thing uh but here we have a few more i am super super in love with nightcrawler as well uh he creates amazing hair uh, I think he was start he did create for The Sims 3, but he also creates for The Sims 4. And as you can see, he is another amazing hair creator here on I mean, when it comes down to The Sims 4. Uh, but let's go over a few let's see. Some of the makeup, because I do come here a lot for makeup as well. Uh so here you have some lip glosses, you have some blushes. I actually do need to go CC shopping soon, so I will definitely be coming on here and downloading a few custom content items once I am done filming this. <laughs> uh, but you can also find, I think you can find uh, hair, eye colors, yes. You can find contact lenses as well, which is another amazing thing, especially with The Sims 4. Uh... But yeah, on to my third So favorite. here we have the infamous Tumblr. And I'm sure you all have heard of this website. If you haven't, you have not yet lived. So this is one of the main go-to websites I like to go to for my custom content as well. And honestly, the custom content range, ranges from 
objects to houses to lots to makeup to hair to clothing to sims honestly anything you can think of and it is also very similar to the sims 4 i mean the sims 4 the sims resource so usually what i go ahead and type in if i'm looking for like if I'm generally just shopping for random custom content, whether it be makeup, hair, Sims, lots, whatever, I like to usually just type in the Sims for CC. So I just go ahead and type that in. And as you guys can see, you have, you get various options as to all these creators. So uh, I'm not going to. I mean, I'm not going to name every single one of them, but you have such a great variety and a lot of these creators like to repost or reblog a lot of the custom content that they find, like like CC finds, which I think is awesome, but you do have some orig original creators on here as well. So honestly, the list goes on. Just feel free to check it out because it is my favorite, one of my favorite websites. And as you can see, you can find resources from other creators on here as well. So you just have a whole bunch of connections and it is amazing. Whoa. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> that I swear that's not Tumblr. That's that's me. It has to be me. But yeah, Tumblr has to be one of my top go-to favorite CC websites. So I definitely recommend you guys. Go ahead and check that out. We have Sim 4 and I, or not Sim 4 and I, Sim 4 NY, or Sim 4 and I. And we have just come across probably one of the best custom content clothing Sims 4, Tumblr, similar websites out there. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going or where I was going, but. This has to be one of my newest favorite clothing CC websites for The Sims 4. It is by far one of my new favorites and I recently discovered her the other day and decided to go crazy on the CC shopping because it is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm weird. I know. Um, but anyways, she just has a bunch of tops and what she likes to focus on, I think mainly, is just editing clothing items that have already been put into the sims 4 like she'll go ahead and crop these up and then maybe add uh some straps here which i think is really cool and creative and nice and as you can see she takes a top from or not a top but a bikini suit from the sims 4 and adds her own little touch by just replacing the the pattern and the colors as well which i think is super cute and she just has a whole bunch of clothing she has some dresses some outfits tops bottoms and anything you can think of revolving just anything that has to do with clothing in the sims 4 i am just so in love with this website and i can't even begin to stress how how obsessed I am with it but as I said earlier I will be posting all the links to all these websites down below last but not least we have my sims 4 blog and I'm sure a lot of you guys have also heard about this because it has been around since I mean forever so and as you can see you have like nine freaking million page views that just says that that says a lot about the website okay it is, it is honestly a lot of people's go-to websites and I'm, I am I know why and I will show you guys that right now. So the main thing I like about this website is that you have an infinite amount of labels slash categories to choose from. So right over here on the left side of the screen, you have something that says, a tab that says labels. So you go ahead and click on that and you have accessories so you have accessories animals bracelets clothing earrings fingernails glasses gloves hair and honestly the list goes on you have clothing you have you can go into specifics with that if you'd like some eyes defaults and non-defaults food hair by all different kinds of creators lots mods objects skins tattoos and honestly anything you can think of it is insane and sometimes just just really really crazy but it is 
I, I just I, I love this website and I highly highly recommend you guys. okay so as you guys can see we are on the simsresource.com and the reason I decided to download from this website is because I think it is by far one of the simplest ways of downloading custom content but that is just my opinion it really doesn't matter but yeah so once you've chosen whatever it is you want to download, whether it be a hair or a clothing item, you will go ahead and click on where it says to download. And usually it's going to wake you it's going to make you wait like 10 seconds, but if you do have Adblock on for that website, uh, it will it's it's going to make you wait like 60 because they do want to be able to display the ads to make their money. So make sure, just make sure you have Adblock off when you are downloading from this website. Or you can just turn it off for the website if you would like. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and wait for this to download. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and jump right into uh, where you have to go to drop the file into. So I don't know where it is you guys store your EA folders, your EA folder. But usually it's going to be sorted in the documents. Uh, I think that's where it goes automatically. Yep, it is. So you're going to go ahead and click on your EA folder, The Sims 4. And as you guys can see, you have a ton of folders here. But you're going to go ahead and click on the one that says Mods. You, you will see that you, I think you're, yeah, I'm pretty sure it already comes with a uh, resource folder. You do nothing with this. You just leave it as it is. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think you do have to create a packages folder, but I'm not sure. I honestly can't remember that far back. But if you do have to make a, a packages folder, easy. Just go ahead and click on where it says new folder, type in packages, and you are good to go. I'm not going to go ahead and replace that because I already have one and I don't want to lose my CC. But uh, we're going to go ahead and open that up or if you'd like, you can simply drag it on in. But what I like to do is I like to click on this button right over here and I click on where it says show in folder and then I go ahead and either copy or cut and then I like to paste it on here or what I will do is I will simply drag it on there so wait let's, let, let's go ahead and move this real quick uh, sometimes I just like to drag it on there but sometimes it is simply easier to just cop, cu cut and paste but that is how you do it and in another case, uh, or a lot of cases, you will have times where you need to have a little converter or a zip file opener. I don't, I'm not really sure what it's called, but, or an extract file opener. I'm not sure. I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm bad. I'm bad at this, but it is the one I like to use and the one that a lot of my friends on the simming community use to open up their custom content and all of that good stuff is WinRAR. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Yeah, WinRAR. And they pretty much just use this so that whenever you download something that comes in a zipped file like this, you have something to open it up with. So all you have to do is simply click on it or once it shows up here, if you use Google Chrome, is click on it. It'll just pop up for you. And you go ahead and just drag that as you would if you were to drag this file from the downloads file or wherever it is you guys send your custom content to but yeah that is pretty much all there is to it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it was also helpful if you have any other questions be sure to comment them down below i love you guys very very much and i will talk to you all very soon bye guys